Why do women flirt with you even though they are in a relationship? Before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notifications button so you can get the videos as soon as I put them out. All right, the reason why I'm talking about that today is because every time I go live, the number one question seems to be, Anthony, a girl is with her boyfriend, she's hitting on me. A married woman is hitting on me. There's always a woman who's in a relationship that's staring at you, that's flirting with you, and you want to know why, what does it mean? So today I'm going to be breaking down what does it mean when you know a girl is in a relationship but she's always flirting with you, okay? One thing that I want you guys to understand from the get-go before we get started, 60% of the time, I'm not gonna say 90, I'm gonna say 60% of the time, when women are flirting with you, you're misreading them, all right? Most guys are going to be misreading them because it's an experience they never had before, which means you don't have a lot of girls flirting with you. So when women start flirting with you, it's an entire new feeling that you don't recognize. So you're seeking the answers to an emotion that you do not understand. A lot of girls that are flirting while they're in relationships miss being single. And a lot of them are naturally flirts and have probably been in a relationship just long enough to be in a relationship, but she hasn't broken her old cycles or old habits of flirting. That's what happens with most women. When they become accustomed to flirting, it's some of the only thing that they know how to do and they can handle it very well. So 60% of the time, guys are going to be misreading the woman. Now let's get to breaking down her actions. First, if she's seriously flirting with you, she's not happy in her relationship and she's seeking gratification. You have to understand, when women get in relationships with guys that they love, it's gonna be up to him to give her attention so she gets dopamine releases throughout her body. If she has a man that's not paying attention to her and she's chasing his attention, but his attention may be focused on the money, then she may want to get that attention from you just to feel good. She's not happy in a relationship, but it doesn't mean that she's not happy enough to leave the relationship or she's not happy enough to where she wants to cheat just yet. She may just need attention from a guy to feel special for that moment because the guy that she wants attention from is not giving her attention because he's focused on something else. So it's definitely a true sign that she's not happy, but that happiness doesn't mean that she wants to leave him. Next, the big good part about it is she finds you attractive, all right? If she's not for the streets and she's just a regular girl that's at your job, she does find you attractive. She finds you cute. That's the reason why she's flirting with you is because your cuteness is making her feel better. Guys, I mean, women are not gonna run around and flirt with other dudes because they don't want to give the ugly dudes an impression that that she likes him or not and then he turns into a creep that's what a lot of guys have to watch out for that's why you cannot misread her but yes if she's flirting with you whether she has a man or not she do find you attractive which you can give yourself a pat on the back but you have to also make sure you're not misreading her. Next, and this is the one all guys really want to know. Yes, it's true. She wants to hook up with you. She wants to sleep with you. She wants to have a fling with you. But typically girls like this do not misread it. They're gonna let you know, I have a boyfriend and I'm not going nowhere. So if she's telling you that she has a boyfriend, she's flirting with you as if she wants something to happen. She really does want something to, ha to happen. But at the same time, she doesn't want to leave her man. A lot of guys out here, you're going to go along with that. All right. Men are not going to stop and say, oh, you got a boyfriend. I ain't getting ready to mess with you. No, if she has a man and she keeps flirting and pursuing you, you're gonna at some point forget about her boyfriend, but she's not going to forget about her boyfriend. You have to realize, most women are not flirting to leave their man. They're flirting just to get attention. So if she wants to sleep with you, you have to think, are you gonna be a fling? And if you decide to be a fling, you have to stay in the fling category. You can't be the guy that's feeling like you're taking a woman away from a man because you're already setting yourself up for drama in the future. The same way you get her would be the same way that you lose her. So if you deciding to be a fling with a girl, I'm not gonna tell you to do that because this is the internet and you know, 
If I tell you to go be with a woman who has a husband or the man, that'll be the wrong thing to do. But in reality, this is how infidelity and in relationship starts. It's with flirting. And yes, she wants to sleep with you, but it's going to be up to you if you want to dive in that direction. And if you dive into that direction, you have to deal with the consequences that come with that. The best thing for you to do is to see the poison that's already existing. Women that have a man and they're looking to step out or flirt with other guys, it's not going to be any good for you either. She's already showing you her character. You cannot at once start to think that you are an exception to the rule and that you're going to have control over her because she's willing to leave her man for you. She may just be hopscotching through guys that she's been doing and she's giving you a different pass. So even though she want to sleep with you, you better move with caution. Next, and this is probably going to be the main one. She needs the ego boost. All right. She needs the ego boost really, really, really bad because once again, she's in competition with the internet. She's in competition with her friends. She's in competition with all the girls around her. So you would notice nowadays, women are talking more about nasty stuff that they do in bed. They're being very provocative about stuff. They're not afraid to put their sexuality out there in order to go viral because that's the easiest way for them to gain attention. Women need attention more than anything. The problem is it used to be a time where girls were like, I don't want to be that girl that gets all the attention. I'm going to let her go be looked at as the slut. I'm going to let her be looked at as the bad girl. And guys are not going to want them girls. So I'm going to sit over here and be conservative so I get the man. That's how it used to be back in the days. But nowadays, all the good girls have to look and act like the bad girls to get the attention. But it ruins their image to the point where they're doing a lot of faking it. They're fake bad girl looking like acting just to get attention, but it alternates everything that they're doing. So understand, girls are going to fight for attention. In most cases, it does not mean that she is attracted to you. you got an airplane in the back. It doesn't mean that she is attracted to you. If she's attracted to you, she's going to try to take the next step in a relationship of trying to cheat on her man with you. And this is what happens with a lot of colleagues, work relationship, work husbands, work wives. They go on break, do their thing and go back to work. Why? Because while they're at their job, they start to build a bond. They are around each other more than they are around their own relationships. You have to be careful with women. When she starts to create a bond with a man, then it's hard for her to break that bond, which is why if girls are flirting with you that do have a man and she keeps pursuing you, she may start to like you and she may start to want to keep her husband too and try to balance two guys. Next thing you know, both of you will end up losing once y'all find out what's going on. The game that women play is an emotional game when it comes to men. It's an emotional game when it comes to sex and love. The more emotions she lose throughout relationships, the more guys she's going to have. The more she's unable to parabon, the more flirting she's going to do. The more relationship skipping she's going to do. The more side dudes that she's going to do. Because she's not emotionally attached to anything, but she has high sex drive and a need for drama. Women now are pretty much programmed to be that way. Not all, but I'll probably say 60% of the time, if you got a woman flirting with you, it's because that's just what she does. She's used to it. She needs the attention. She needs the control. She may have a guy that she's unable to do that with. And when she's with this guy, he's making her feel low and vulnerable. So she goes and finds other men to boost her ego back up. You got to make sure you're not the ego booster. When you're the ego booster, whenever she gets her confidence back, she is going to leave you alone. And a lot of you guys do this. You get with the wrong girl. You gas her up. You're trying to change a girl for the streets by telling her she ain't got to act like this. You ain't got to be like this. And you try to motivate her to be a good person. She keeps lashing out on, at you. And then one day she ups and just leaves you alone. Why? Because she was comfortable being for the streets. You can't try to change a girl who is already comfortable being a nothing. 
Nine times out of 10, if she's flirting with you because she has a man, then she's already a nothing. She's willing to risk it all and she knows the power of the cat. The women that know the power of the cat is the worst. They use it to control men all the time. This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you guys like the nature in the background. Starting to give y'all some more of these videos. Um, comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Make sure you share this. And um, let me know in the comments how you feel about the video. What do you think when a girl is flirting with you? And give me some titles for the live. Hasta la vista.